Okay, question 10. Um, we're just going to focus on the cumulative frequency part of the part B now. And we've got to fill out this table. So instead of the weights being from 0 to 30, 30 to 50, 50 to 60, you can see it's like accumulation, it's a cumulative weight. So none of them weighed 0 to 30. 14 weighed in this section here. So that means 14 weighed between nothing and 50. Now when we add the next group on, we're adding on a 16, so that's between 50 and 60. But we want all of the weights up to 60, so it's an extra 16 on. So that gives us a total of the 14 and the 16 together, which is 30. We want the weights up to 70, so we want the 14, 16 and the 21 and 0. So that gives us a total of, I think on the 21 gives us 51. And then all of the weights all together means that we want the 0, the 14, the 16, the 21, and the 9 adding up all the way up. So we need to add the 9 onto our total. It gives us that. So 0, 14, 30, 51, 60. So let's change the page. And we're asked now to plot this. It says on the grid, draw cumulative frequency for your table. So our table looks something like this. It was basically 0 to 30 came out as 0. 0 to 50 came out as 14. 0 to 60 came out as 30. You can check back on the other page. 0 to 70 came out as 51. And 0 to 100, i.e. everything, came out as 60. I'm going to put these on our graph. So we take the upper values. So at 30 is our first one. Is where we're going to plot 0. At 50, we're going to plot 14. So at 50, we've got to 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. At 60, we're going to plot 30. At 60, we fill it up and we'll plot 30. And you've got to be really accurate with this. At 70, we're plotting 51. 70, we plot. Fifty-one. And a hundred we plot sixty. So all the way up here. We're gonna plot sixty. Now we're gonna join this up with a straight line. Not a line of best fit, but just a dot to dot. Apologise for that little extra line in there. Okay, so we've now got we've now plotted our information from our cumulative frequency table and the information here. 14, 30, 51, 60, at those points, we've now plotted it on our cumulative frequency graph. So that was the first thing we need to do. The next thing says that using an estimate for the number of eggs with a weight greater than 63 grams. Well, we can find the ones with less than 63 grams. So if we want to find less than 63, 60, 61, 62, we draw up to our line here, and then we draw out across there. So there are 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's an answer there of 36. So to find, we want that means there's 36 eggs less than 63 grams. But we don't want the less than. We want the more than. We want to find out how many eggs are from 36 up to the 60. And that's obviously 24. This gap here and here represents 24 eggs. So we need to do our total eggs minus our 36, which means we reckon there's 24 can have a weight greater than 63 grams. Go back and check your understand. One, how I've plotted the graph, but two, how I've also used the graph to get some numbers out.